How you doing, Mr. De Niro? My name is Bradley Cooper. Have you ever been uh, really hung over on a film or drunk? No, thank God. Never hung over? Yeah, on a film? Yeah. On an audition? Yeah. <laughs> did you get the movie? I, you know, and I did. And I was beyond hungover. I was probably, if you look at it logistically, still drunk. Right. Um, <laughs> but it was a callback to a movie, and I remember I was so drunk, or hungover, however you put it, it was just the time of day. It happened to be at 12, 12 p.m. the next day. And I remember, and then when I got the call that I got it, I was like, I can do no wrong. <laughs> there was a moment when I was taking my dog to Philly to shoot the movie. They were there outside uh, my house. I live in Venice, and, uh, and it's like I live right on the street. So, like, any time I opened the door, you know, if someone was yeah. there. I remember like bending down to like take pick Charlotte up and put her in the truck and I was like, and there was a guy literally right behind me. And I remember thinking like, my ass is probably Aww. showing. <laughs> I remember I was like, it's probably a nice ass crack shot well, they just got. Yeah. And then like literally, as I was like at the airport, my mom's like, just saw you. Hey, hey son, just saw your ass crack. Uh, is it a weird thing being the sexist man? Oh, it's the worst. No. <laughs> Was well, just so awful. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a little self-conscious? Are you a little? Uh, well, I, you know, I'm finally at an age. I'm 36 years old. Where I really don't care about anything like that anymore, which is a wonderful thing. And then this happened, and then I started to realize just how not sexy I am. Oh, stop! No, I swear to God. I swear to God. I have a lot of moments where I'll be like walking out, and I'll like, like I'll open up the door, and I go, I could do that a lot sexier. <laughs> Oh, that was not very sexy. That was not very sexy, you know? No. And then, and then the other thing was just so awful that I'm admitting this, but no, uh, how would it? Um, because there was such a backlash to when, when they announced it. And Ryan Gosling, who I love, and I just did a movie with him, he's the greatest. But we were both in Paris this last week, and uh, a friend of mine showed me, like, there was, like, photographs from the paparazzi. And when I say friend, I mean me alone in my room looking at the computer. So, <laughs> and there's, like, him, him, like, walking around, and he literally looks like he's in a photo shoot. Like, he just came off the runway. What, like, the pea coat is like this with the scarf. And I literally, there's just one of me, and I literally look like the neighbor who never really comes out of his house. <laughs> I just want to make sure, like, maybe you should just stay in. We don't know what he does in there. So it's, it's been uh, interesting. Yeah. You do got it. You definitely got it. Oh, That's yeah. the one. Just like you, you got, got it. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, got you got definitely got it, man. Well. Oh, yeah. You got I'm it. I'm clean as a whistle. Oh, really? All you got is all over your face. <laughs> And what are you wearing, mister? He's wearing Tom Sweeney. Tom Sweeney? How do you know? Wait, he just, opened up the thing and I looked. Do you know how much like a married couple you guys are? Are you really? No. We bicker all the time and we don't have sex. <laughs> <laughs> do you feed the squirrels like Clint does? I've watched him feed them. I wouldn't dare get involved. Why not? Well, it's his thing. You can also feed the squirrels. It's not his thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, but it's it's sweet, right? He sits like like a peanuts on his desk, yeah. and the squirrels come in and sit on his desk and eat. I them. thought it was a joke the first time, but they really come up, and then he's like, "All right, hold on a second. <laughs> and he's like, "Come on, you little guys. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's it. All right. Okay, what were you saying?" <laughs> 